<laughs> All right, Hyper. Made it away from the water monsters of doom and death and destruction. I highly recommend this game so far. Any of you who haven't played it, um, I'm playing it in my room with the lights out. Oh, shit. That's okay, I think I'm in a calm area. It feels like I'm in a calm area, right? Whoa. That's a pretty freaky uh, statue, huh? Weird. Okay, that's the right way, so I'm gonna go the wrong way. Why are there dogs? So in a survival horror game, climbing along the windowsills on the outside, you think that's... I think that's the best plan. January 9. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relationship to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made to my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more than the energy that I seek. But I hope animals will suffice, as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Oh, shit.
do poetry. Will do. Alright, you think I should try this? I'm gonna die, aren't I? my lantern whoa now when will it be my turn have I not shown restraint my patience spans centuries from where I came mankind has not even wasted a breath Yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. One, two, three, I'll probably be okay if I drink right now, drink. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get to the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the flowing ch following chart. Trinity steam set functions. Four phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. see anything else over here but I got something for the elevator so at least there's that I feel like I need this but since it's not going into my inventory fuck it whoa shit okay a tree actually just fell tree was leaning on the house? I didn't notice that. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Joan and Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last twenty odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus con Coloss Conclusus. <laughs> it was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color... How can it be smooth and jagged? Its color washed while rich. 
Oh, okay, so he's saying it, it covers the whole spectrum of feeling and look. I see. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly... An impossibility. An artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Aldstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally came, found the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real! As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become one of my greatest fears. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately... But fortunately? But fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry, a pain echoed through the valley. I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be skipped bared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned to charcoal, black with the, cylind uh, with the leaves of cinder. The ground covered in a murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I, I could hear pleading screams in the distance as I joined in the pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field and outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in the ongoing research into mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Aldstadt. Your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Alright, so you said there's a tree leaning on the house. Yeah, that's incorrect. You lose. Good day, sir. The thin, cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited for more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they were... Oops. Sorry.